It'd I did a, notice, though, that uh, a couple weeks ago on the campaign trail, you were like, you can't win. It's not going to happen. I, I just can't imagine this happening. And then the other day, you said if he's going to be president, he needs to learn more about the nuclear triad. Is he a smart guy? Yeah. Will he be able to learn about this? I don't know. Maybe if he takes the time to do it. But he sure as heck better if he's going to be president. Like, is there a sense that maybe you're saying that this could happen? No, no, I made a mistake if I said that. He's not going to be president. <laughs> But he should, if he's aspiring to the presidency, the dude ought to try to figure out what the nuclear triad is. Come on. I mean, this is like, we're, 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 we, you know, the fact that we don't, we have a president that wouldn't know how to, how to deter aggression of that magnitude. The day that, a uh, couple of days after the North Koreans did their test, we don't know what exactly that was, uh, Trump's response was, let the Chinese handle it. That was in the same day that he also called for a 45% across the board tariff on all Chinese imports. No, I don't think we should let the Chinese deal with it. If they have the capability of launching a hydrogen bomb or a nuclear bomb with a long range missile capability that they're working on to hit the West Coast, I think that's our responsibility. We don't outsource that to the Chinese.